Welcome to the Water the Wellington Children's Groundwater Festival Career Corner. Um, taking care of water takes a lot of work to make sure that we all have clean drinking water delivered to our houses. And then what happens to the water after it gets flushed down the toilet takes a lot of work behind the scenes to make sure that um, it becomes clean water again. And one of our dedicated people that are working on it um, is here with us today. I'd like to introduce Jessica. Um, and if you want to just tell us a little bit about um, yourself and, and what role you play at the City of Waterloo. Sure. Hi, I'm Jessica Kellerman. Uh, I am a water resource engineer. I work with the City of Waterloo and I'm the manager of stormwater operations and construction in city utilities. Wow, that's quite a title. So with your job, how is it directly connected, I guess? Like what's the water connection that um, our audience, our friends out there can, can relate to? So as an employee in operations, we work with our water system, our wastewater system and the stormwater system. So my crew in particular goes out and looks at stormwater infrastructure. So that could be something like a pond that manages water, a creek, uh, it could be what we call green infrastructure like infiltration galleries, um, catch basins and manholes that you see along roads. And the construction crew would go out and fix water pipes or wastewater pipes so that homes can carry water to them and away from them. The project that I've been working on for the last few years, uh, so the Silver Lake project in Waterloo Park, uh, the video is going to show you uh, drain construction, some of the, the equipment that we use to do a lake clean out, and also some drain construction photos, which will show you what it looks like once we drain the water down uh, and, and start to move things around. Oh, that's really interesting because it has been a long project and I, um, we're looking forward to see what it looks like um, when it's finished. But the pro project is, is very interesting as it moves along. So thank you. Yes. Yeah. And we're very excited to, to get to the end of construction on this too and have a nice open park space that people can enjoy. That's great. Thank you. Um, what do you enjoy most about your job with the city? The variety of the work that we do. So it's, it's different every single day, um, depending on what's happening. Like if it's raining, you might have to go look at problems or, or blockages in a creek system. Um, if it's a really cold day, you might get pipes breaking underground and then you have to take out equipment to dig them up and fix them. Um, there's always different things happening uh, every day. So that's probably the, the thing I enjoy most about my job right now. Great, thank you. Um, are there any cool tools or things that you use um, or need to perform your job? Oh yeah, lots of cool tools. So we use all kinds of equipment, um, lots of trucks, dump trucks, triaxle trucks. Uh, we use excavators, backhoes, skid steers, mini excavators. Uh, so any of the big construction equipment that you see going by construction sites, we use all of that to do our work. That's great. Have you had a chance to uh, operate any of them? <laughs> I don't currently have a license to be able to, uh, but it's something I'm actually going to go and do in the fall so that I can drive around in the big trucks because, I mean, that sounds like fun to me too. So. It sounds like fun, I think, to a lot of our, our friends watching right now as well. Yeah. Um, what type of training or education do you need to be able to do a job like yours? So my background is engineering. So I went through for environmental engineering at the University of Guelph. Uh, and then I worked in uh, an engineering environment doing design work and project management, which means that I looked after projects from designing them all the way through to constructing them. Uh, and so through all of that experience, uh, that's how I was able to successfully transfer into this role, managing the stormwater utility, as well as the construction and oversight of the water and wastewater utilities at the city. Oh, that's great. So you take a real lead um, role in making sure that, that these projects, uh, you know, start and then have a finish to them. Um, so when you think of your job, what do you think inspired you or helped you decided to get into the water industry? 
I took a course when I was in high school uh, and it was environmental science and the teacher was fantastic and it sparked my interest in that field and got me thinking more about how I would want to work with the environment and that translated obviously into water, which is a big component of, of the environment. Uh, it's something that we have a lot of in Canada. Uh, and so um, through my love of that class that I took and just thinking more along the lines of what do I wanna do when I'm done high school, uh, a natural progression was to apply to programs in university because that's what I wanted to do at the time was go to university. That aligned with an environmental field of some kind. And I landed on environmental engineering because I also like a challenge and uh, got through that. And at the end of the program in environmental engineering, I decided to focus in on water resources. And so I started in consulting uh, and then moved into uh, the role at the city. Oh, that's great. So you work for the city of Waterloo with the city of Kitchener and the city of Cambridge and even the city of Guelph, would they have similar roles? such as yours? Yes, yeah, most cities across the country have uh, some type of stormwater or water resources dedicated staff. It's a, it's a big part of what a city needs to manage. Stormwater infrastructure uh, is something that a lot of residents would see when they're out and about, right? You see ponds in every community. You may not understand why they're put there or, or what they manage uh, and how they're designed. But a lot of those facilities are there for a purpose to manage flooding, to manage flows uh, within our communities. And so these are, these are very large pieces of infrastructure that you need to look after. And that's just one component of it. Then you have your creeks and your, your lakes and whatever it is that makes up your water system within a city. So every city would have somebody that would be at least looking at that. Um, if not an entire team. And so uh, Waterloo has a team, Kitchener has a team, Cambridge has a team, Guelph has a team. So yeah, there's pretty much every city would have yeah. some. Yeah, because we have students and, and um, we'll be attending from all of those different areas in the County of Wellington as well. So it's important to know that this isn't just unique to, you, to Waterloo. Um, but that, that they're everywhere and that we have to be mindful of our stormwater um, catchment areas. So I'm sure everybody that um, is living in these areas uh, knows where one is in their neighborhood and now maybe has a better understanding of what, it, what it's there for and what it's used for. Do you have any final words that you'd like to share with our friends? Just that I hope that they're learning lots through through this great program. And uh, you know, if there's if there's any questions or if they wanted to follow up on uh, specifically what I'm doing here, they can feel free to reach out. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much, Jessica. So I think it's important that we'll add some resources for teachers um, and some images, and hopefully they've learned something in our, our program today. Um, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to, to speak with us. And so we know a little bit more about some of the water careers that are out there and some of the options that our students, if they have a love of nature or if they're um, thinking of maybe becoming an engineer, that there's all different types of engineers and, and water resource engineers is just one of many. So thank one you so very, much. One of very many. <laughs> one of very many. Yes, yes. yes. So um, yeah, stay safe around. Um, the stormwater ponds. And thank you, Jessica, for joining us today. Um, I've learned a lot just listening to you and have a better understanding of what's happening, you know, that within the city. Yes, thanks for having me.